cos squared of theta, which is going to be one minus sine squared of theta. Now, can you see here we have cos squared of theta? Okay? Mm -hmm. So instead of cos squared of theta here, what am I going to write? So I'm going to write this thing as one minus sine squared of theta. And then I have one plus sine theta. Now, what is the next thing that we're going to do from here? The next thing that we're going to do is to make sure we group everything one side. Once you have a square, this thing here is a quadratic. As soon as you see a square, you have a quadratic. So I'm going to group everything one side and then make sure which one side is equal to zero. So I'm going to take this one to this other side. If I take this one to the other side, it says, let me take, start by taking this one to this other side. It's negative. Okay? So if it goes to that other side, what am I going to have? So I'm going to have the sine squared of theta. Plus sine theta, we have this one here, plus one, and then we have this one. If we take it to the side, it's going to become what? Minus one. Minus one. This is going to be equal to what? Two? To see. And then from here, you can see these two are like terms. Right? What is one minus one? C. Now it says we have sine squared of theta plus sine theta, which is going to be equal to what? Two? To see. Now you have two terms here. It's not a trinomial. If it was a trinomial, I was going to say, let's have A, let's have B, let's have C. But now because we're dealing with two terms, we can then say, is there anything common between these two things? What seems to be common here? So if we take out sine theta as common, it says we're going to have sine theta. Open bracket. Here, what I go to remain with? Sine theta. If you take sine theta, it says plus. What are you going to remain with? One. This is going to be equal to what you And from here, we are going to use the product rule. The product rule says that if we have x, x plus one is equal to zero, we can say x is going to be zero or x, x plus one is going to be equal to what you see. Same thing here, we are going to say sine of theta is going to be equal to what you see. Or, or, Sine of theta plus one is going to be equal to what to see. And then from here onwards, you can then look for theta. If you look for theta, in fact, then let, let's let's simplify both of them and then you see what are we going to have. So we have sine theta is equal to zero. That's the first one. Yes. And then for this one here, we are going to have the sine of theta, which is going to be equal to what minus one. Now, guys, you are going to solve them separately. You're going to start with sine of theta is equal to zero. So let's start. Which sine theta is equal to zero? Let's solve that one first, and then we'll go to the other one. So for sine theta is equal to zero, we're going to say, let's find theta here. If we find theta, we're going to say theta is going to be given as the sine arc of zero. And then what are we going to get here? We're going to get our one out. And then if we say theta, sine arc of zero, what do you get? Shift sine arc of zero, we get what? Zero. It says theta is going to be equal to what? To, to zero. This is our ref angle. Now from here, we're going to say, we're going to treat zero as being positive. Our zero is positive. Then we'll ask, where is sine theta going to be positive? Where is theta going to be positive? First and the second quadrant. So if we go to the first quadrant, we will say, okay, according to the first quadrant, we're going to accept the right angle. So it says, which theta is going to be equal to zero plus, plus k, k multiplied k. by this. Yeah. And then we go to the second quadrant. According to the second quadrant, what are we going to have? We're going to have theta is going to be 180 degrees minus zero plus K multiplied by what? By 60. And then it says 180 degrees plus K multiplied by what? By, by 360. This is for sine theta is equal to zero. Right? Now we're going to go to the next one. The next one that we're going to do is say, okay, let's do the other one for sine theta is equal to minus one. If we go to sine theta is equal to minus one, 
Then we're going to have theta is going to be given as the sine arc of one. What is going to be the sine arc of one? It's 90 degrees. And then this is our ref angle. Now, as soon as you're done getting the ref angle, then you will come and say, okay, where is sine theta going to be negative? This one is for sine theta is equal to minus one. For sine theta is equal to minus one, we ask where is sine theta going to be negative? Where do you expect sine theta to be negative? So according to the third quadrant, we're going to have theta, which is going to be equal to 180 degrees plus 90 plus K multiplied by what by 360. And then this thing here, it says theta is going to be equal to 270 plus K multiplied by what by 360. Now, where else is this thing going to be negative? Where else do we expect this to be negative? Oh. So according to the fourth quadrant, it says we are going to have theta is going to be equal to 360 degrees minus minus 90. minus 90 plus K multiplied by 360 degrees. And then we have 270 degrees plus K multiplied by 360. And then it says K should be an element of all integers. Now, as you can see this one, how many general solutions does it have? So if you get a question like this one, you are most likely to be, it's going to be out of seven. So I'm going to get a mark for factorizing, getting both values. And then, General solution number one, general solution number two, general solution number three, general solution number four, and MK is an element of all integers. And then from here, cos square theta plus cos theta is equal to three. Then, literature in chapter three, and three, I have a negative. Then, <laughs> um, <laughs> so, okay. yeah. <laughs> then, <laughs> then, no, in a standard form, then A and <clears throat> two B are in one, C and one, negative three. Then, <laughs> then, 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 then a then take it then take it positive don't pa don't pa what then him take it negative don't pa negative three over two then it's all 